It's my old school chum, Frank Ashton, lurking about in heavy disguise. <laughs> my sister Stella. Ah, how do you do? Hello. And the brats, Sabina and Frida, known as Fred. Sabina? How do you do, sir? Hello, Fred. Hello. You sit there, old chum. Do forgive me, I feel the most terrible tramp. I've been out on the moors for a couple of weeks. Like a gypsy? How perfectly stunning! <laughs> no, not like a gypsy, though I may look like one. I've been staying on a farm. Oh, I love the idea of staying on a farm. Isn't the reality rather smelly? <laughs> and who on earth do you talk to? Well, there were people. Yes. But I can't understand a word they say, can you? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Yes, I see. Very charming. So you're in love, are you? Desperately. I can't live without her, Phil. God, it's a relief to talk about her. Are you sure you don't mind? No, 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 not at all. But you'd understand if you met her. She's magical. Wonderful. And you're going to carry her off on your white charger and live happily ever after? You don't believe me? I'm sorry, of course I believe you, but don't you think you ought to give it a bit more thought? You'll be uprooting her from everything she knows. And besides, will she... Will she exactly fit in with your life? Megan loves me. Oh, well, I'm sure she does. But is that enough? It's all that matters. Do you believe in fate? That things are meant to happen? Not really. I believe in free will. At least I think I do. I'm afraid that means you'll be leaving us of your own free will. Not entirely. I'll say goodbye then. Oh, goodbye, Stella. Goodbye, Frank. I have a train to catch in ten minutes. Would you please, please see if the telegrams come? There is no telegram, sir. It must be. No telegram. Next, please. Hmm? <laughs> oh, Mr. Ashton. Oh, thank God for that. What time's the next train for Bobby Tracy? Bobby Tracy, sir? 6.10. But she's mighty slow. Doesn't get in till near 9. And what's the first one in the morning? Oh, that's a Sunday, sir. No trains to Bobby on a Sunday. Thank you. I'm glad you decided not to go after all. I'm afraid I didn't decide. I just missed the train. Then, if it wasn't of your own free will, it must have been Providence. Or, or Sabina's witchcraft. Perhaps it is all Providence. Fate, whatever you call it. What's the trouble, old chap? Something gone wrong? No. <clears throat> well, I missed the dash train. And the next one's at ten past six. Well, you'll miss that too unless we leave this minute. Stella! No, I don't want to spoil that day. Do you want to catch that train? Or don't you? 
doesn't get there until after nine. It'll be dark. Oh, she should have gone home. Can't be helped. Oh, you didn't really want to come to church, did you? Not much. Why did you then? Well, you know what Lord Tennyson says. Yet all experience is an arch where... Stella's always reading Lord Tennyson. She reads him in bed at night. Does she indeed? I understand you like Tennyson. I suspect that you don't like church. Well, I'm not really a believer, if that's what you mean. I believe in being good because to be good is good itself. And sometimes I fail horribly. Why are you sorry when you fail? What makes you want forgiveness? I'm sorry when I make mistakes. That's human. As for forgiveness, What's the matter, Frank? later. Why had I come back? To try somehow to recapture a moment of hope and innocence. This be a graph, sir. Just a young girl she was. Megan David. What happened to the child? Oh, he's a fine boy, sir. What was his name? He were baptized Francis. It's what Mac wanted. 